Hey, Jeff Frick here at Dogpat Studios. We're here for the Fusion IO Atomic Series launch. We're here with Shane Robeson, Chairman and CEO. Great event, Shane. Thanks for having us. Thanks for being here. Well, it was, it's a long way. Uh, the first time I ever saw you, we actually had a, a breaking news story. We had you cut in on the cube. I think at EMC World or VM World when you first took over the reins. Remember that? Remember that. It's actually one of our most popular segments because people are curious. They want to know what was going on. You're gracious enough to jump on and really tell the story. So talk about how things have changed since you kind of came in. A lot of excitement here. That seems like a long time ago. Well, we're very focused on growing the company, and that means maintaining our technology leadership. So this is an exciting night because this is the third generation of our technology. We're the gold standard in the industry for application acceleration, especially the server side. And this is very, very exciting stuff. So talk a little bit about the partner ecosystem. I was very uh, impressed when the slides came up. You've got an impressive list of software partners that you guys are working on for the enterprise side as well as hardware partners. Everyone knows Fusion IO for Facebook and your hyperscale business, but you've really assembled a, an impressive array of both hardware and software vendors as part of this launch. Can you talk a little bit about that ecosystem? Yeah, the, these ecosystems are critical to our growth. In the last couple of months, you've seen us announce uh, partnerships with Microsoft around the SQL Server 2014 release. That's been very important. We're in all of their uh, technology centers, their enterprise technology centers around the world, partnering with them and really accelerating their, their database applications. We just got qualified on SAP HANA. We're, I think, the only flash vendor qualified there right now. We're working closely with Oracle, we're working closely with VMware. So the best thing for us to do is work with these ISVs to help them take advantage of our technology and then deploy it on our OEM partners' hardware platforms. And talk a little bit about it, because you you know you get to go out and meet a lot of customers, right? That's a fun uh, fun job with the CEO. They they wheel you in, and uh, the guys keep you busy, I'm sure. Right. Talk about some of the customer experiences and stories you're hearing about being able to build applications that are really built to be accelerated with Flash versus kind of what they were doing before. Yeah, I mean, what we can do, especially with the big data customers, is we can allow them to actually work on all of the data at one time. So when you think about what we just announced, 6.4 terabytes on one card, and a server can have 8, 10, 12 of those cards. So you can load big data all into memory at one time and run analytics on it in real time, which has never been done before. Yeah, we were just at Hadoop Summit earlier today, as a matter of fact, but I got to tell you, our cameraman wants one of those cards to take home in his goodie bag. So. Hey, they're pretty, <laughs> we can fit them in a goodie bag. <laughs> And Gary, and Gary said uh, it's GA, everything is shipping now, so. Oh yeah, no, it's, uh, it's been in testing for months with our key partners and some of our key customers. Testing's going extremely well. I was very serious when I said, this is our best generation yet. So talk a little bit about your perspective. We're at, again, we were at Hadoop Summit earlier today. It's a really exciting time in the industry. I, I keep joking, it's like Moore's Law across so many things, and we're at a really great time. Talk about where we are. You've been in the industry at this moment that's both reflected in your product launch as well as these big trends, big data, and some of the other things that you guys are now going to enable to take it to the next level. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of old, so I've been doing this a long time, and I've been through a number of different fundamental architectural changes, mainframes, mini computers, PCs. This is an architectural change at that same level. So when you talk about data, and everything is about data today, how you store it and access it is the fundamental question. And this is a fundamentally different architecture that allows you to treat your data as if it's in memory rather than it's in storage somewhere. And it's a, it's a whole different architecture for the way we actually access and analyze data. Whole different animal. Different animal. Well, congratulations on a great event. Uh, thanks for inviting us up. Jeff Frick here with Shane Robeson, the Fusion IO Atomic Series launch. Thanks again, and congratulations on a great event. Thanks for being here tonight. All right, thank you. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.